wisdom. So if you're wise, stick around because you probably could teach us a thing we or two. We need right. you. Yes, we do. And if you're you. not wise, stick around because maybe <laughs> you need something. <laughs> so wisdom. What is wisdom? What do you what is what comes to mind when somebody says wisdom? An old person. Yeah. A very experienced experienced, experienced okay. person who can help you make really good decisions okay. and um, what is yeah, the, knows basis, the right thing? What is huh, the basis yeah. of wisdom? Knows the right thing? Mm. What's the basis of wisdom? Do you I, think? I think it is. I, I, it seems to me, just from this first scratching of it, is that it is um, having been there, traveled mm. the road, uh, life experience. I learned this through my mm-hmm. own path, mm. which I love that more than just, oh, someone told it to me or I read it in a book or right. something like mm-hmm. that. Yes. I want to be in the. Um, ears of someone who has walked the path so yeah so is there a piece of character in the wisdom equation would you think yeah, i mean i yeah. think they're they're yeah. able to make really sound decisions yeah. so they probably also um are very they're very thoughtful mm-hmm. they're not impulsive mm-hmm. you know i don't think wisdom yeah. comes from being yeah. super impulsive and overly emotional i think it's so i'll never be wise it's <laughs> <laughs> not true it's not true at all yeah. you're very wise yeah so um, but i do i think it comes from awful. yeah um it comes from that thinking mm. you know that process of pausing and thinking and um you know seeking advice from other people and advice from your own experiences and such so yeah i mean i think as far as character goes it's a it's a thinker a yeah. um contemplative person. yeah yeah not yeah. rushing i do that that is a sense that i have is wisdom is the opposite of rushing mm-hmm. i think okay yeah what do you have someone in your life that you would say if you needed wisdom you could go to that person Yes. Yeah. 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 Multiple people. A few, yeah, yeah. I have someone that I would go to for certain things and someone else I would go to for certain other yeah. things. Right. But yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like I think, I mean, all of us are mamas. Mm-hmm. And so finding when we're looking for wisdom about parenting, because mm-hmm. oh, Lord knows I need that. <laughs> um, finding mm-hmm. someone who has been there, done that, walked that path, uh-huh. especially to a parent of a boy. Mm-hmm. Um, it can give me lots of great wisdom. Yeah. Um, somebody who has, you know, who has the scars from that experience mm. yeah. um, can share those stories with me. But I'm not going to ask that same person for wisdom when it comes to my job mm. related items. I'm going to find yeah. somebody who's um, been wise in some sort of um, thing that's relevant, maybe not exactly the same job, but something that's like a business. W- yeah. Kind of they have oriented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They yeah. have that kind of level of experience. Yeah. Of something wisdom when it comes to how to, um, you know, bake bread. I'm going to go to a baker. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Not to us, Carol. She's She's not not coming to to us. Nope, (laughs) not one bit. Nope. Why is it important to have someone that you can turn to, that you believe is wise? We don't all. We don't don't know know it all. Yeah, right. right. We haven't had those experiences yet. We're going through them right now, Mm -hmm. and it'll be important for us to pass along our wisdom that we've gleaned Mm -hmm. to other people. But we don't have it yet because we haven't been through that experience. Yeah, Yeah. I think that's true. And I think that when we talk about wisdom, you automatically you you said this in the beginning. You think of an age. Mm -hmm. Sure. But that's not always true. Sometimes mm-hmm. because of their experiences, very young people can have wisdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, we say they're wise beyond their years. Wise uh-huh. beyond their years. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, what is, uh, what, how do you become a person of wisdom? I think it's at least partly self-reflection because yeah. if you go through experiences without ever stopping, reflecting, and learning, then it's the same as not really having gone through that experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, in order to become wise, when you go through something, you have to acknowledge it, you have to reflect on it, and you have to learn from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything yeah I agree. I mean, I think, you know, I was just thinking about the, way they talk about the way to learn something Mm -hmm. that the best way to learn something is to teach somebody else Mm -hmm. and I think a lot of that comes into wisdom into play with wisdom too that you will have more wisdom the more you share your experiences with other people because not only are you doing Mm -hmm. that Mm self-reflection you're also reflecting with somebody else Mm -hmm. and so I think that's an extra part of it is that 
with the wisdom comes the responsibility to share that wisdom with others. And then once you do, you have an extra, you have an extra helping of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Well, but I think that's also like healing. Yeah, sure. Because I think, you know, you've come almost full circle with some healing when you're able to help someone else. Mm. And I think wisdom and healing can be side by side. Yeah. Because you go through something and the part of the reflection is is healing from it and learning from it. And then I think the next step is then helping someone else with it. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's a piece of accountability in wisdom? Explain what you mean. Do, when you think of the wise person, do they not only give you wisdom, but then hold you accountable for the decision that you make? They hold you accountable? Mm-hmm. The wise person? Yes. I don't know that the, I necessarily think that has to be part of the equation because I feel like you can have and share wisdom without necessarily even circling back to somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, because I do think that that puts a lot of pressure on somebody to uh, to circle back. It also puts a lot of pressure on the person who's gotten the advice to go back to that person yeah. And, you know, close that loop. And I, so I, no, I don't necessarily think you have to have that accountability, but I do think those healthy discussions Mm -hmm. will, the, the more discussions you have the, with that person, the more things Mm -hmm. you can uncover that require extra doses of wisdom. Yeah. I would agree with that. I think that's wonderful if you can have that closed loop and you Mm -hmm. can have that person circle back. I think that's great. But I also think that uh, that you don't have to have a relationship with that person. We can get wisdom from someone we don't Mm, know. Maybe it's a podcast or a book or something that we've heard about this person and we can, and so they'll never be able to check back with us, but Mm -hmm. we can still learn from them if we're open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's wonderful to have accountability from Mm -hmm. someone. Yeah. So how would you, if we were giving a how to on how to become wise, (laughs) how do you become someone who other people turn to? Pray for wisdom. Oh. I think, I mean, the Bible says that over yeah. and over and over and over and over again, that um, one of the things that we can mm. do is learn from our spiritual fathers mm. and pray for wisdom like they did, um, like Solomon did, mm-hmm. especially. But just pray, pray for discernment um, and pray for it. Mm-hmm. And then share share your experiences with other people and do a lot of that reflection, that self-reflection and that um, external reflection. Yeah. I was thinking, do the work right, right along with that. And I go back to that verse, seek wisdom as if for silver. Mm. And boy, you have never seen me tear through my house until I'm late and I can't find my keys. Mm -hmm. I am looking everywhere with passion. Mm -hmm. Like I need to be seeking God's wisdom as much as I need to be seeking my keys in that moment, looking for it as if for silver, prioritizing wisdom. Um, I am I, I, reading Proverbs mm. is really helpful to understand wisdom, yep. I think, and, and how they, they, they personalize wisdom as if it's a person that you're seeking to find and speaking to you and go find wisdom, go be with wisdom. I, I that has helped me understand wisdom mm-hmm. more. But I think you got to do the work. You got to seek it out. You got to prioritize it. You got to reflect on what you've gone through. Yeah. I think seeking wisdom also requires humility. Mm, 100%. We have to first say, I don't know all the answers. Yes. And that's hard to do. Mm -hmm. Um, But we do have to have that brokenness where we say, I don't have all the answers. I need to seek out uh, somebody else. And um, maybe that's the Holy Spirit that you're seeking. Maybe it's another human being. But starting with that humility to say, I don't have it all together. I don't know the answers to this. Can you develop wisdom without struggle? I don't know that it would stick. I think you can learn a lesson. You can Mm -hmm. read something. For example, in my life, Mm -hmm. I've, I've read somebody's story and I've taken a lesson from their story. But. I never incorporated it or made it mine until I went through it mm-hmm. and understood more about what that story felt like, how to 
how to lean on God in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. So I think it doesn't really stick until you go through it. You can you can learn on a cognitive level, but I don't know that we learn emotionally mm-hmm. until we walk the road. Yeah, I think we learn a lot more from our mistakes than we ever do from our successes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, I think you do have to have struggle to, to have yeah. true wisdom. It's true. Yeah. What if but you struggles are no fun? No. What if you are in need of wisdom? How do you go about finding those people? Find somebody with gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> look around and go. Look yeah, here's the, here's and one of the things. Hair. Yeah, here's one of the things that I because I, I I think there's a tendency for us to think that um, once you retire, your ministry's over. We oh, can yeah. I just say we need you to not retire from. <laughs> From our from circles, ministry. yeah, <laughs> because we need to hear those mm-hmm. stories about how you raise kids and how you live through teenagers mm-hmm. and, you know, all the things becoming a, a woman um, who loves God and lets her faith lead her. Mm-hmm. Um, but and I have been incredibly blessed by um, some great people in my life that I have gone to for wisdom. But I'm just wondering if there's a way that that you kind of identify those people in your life. I've just started a new Bible study at church and there are at least two people in the group who are uh, north of 75 years old. Oh, wow. And I am super excited about yeah. it. There's also some people who are, yeah. you know, south of 35. Uh-huh. Um, I like and, that direction. Yeah. I know, yeah. I think. Yeah, great. So how cool is that to be, yeah. you know, kind of in the middle of these two, of the, have a multi-generational yeah. Bible study. I mm-hmm. think that's, and those are where some of those best conversations come out yeah. is when you have let down your guard and you are in community mm-hmm. with somebody when you're, when you can be in community with people who are yeah. of different generations and different experiences and have diversity in your um, group of people that you're around, then those kind of conversations can come up very naturally and yeah. you can go, Oh, you're a safe place for me to say, I'm having this real big struggle with my 15 year old son. And I think you've been there. Yeah. Can we talk about that? And I, I, I will say this, I lead a multi-generational life group mm-hmm. and there are a lot of things that come out in the form of prayer requests that are open doors for people to say, Hey, I've been through that and I see where you are. And, mm-hmm. and so I, the reason I asked that last question is because I think sometimes that we can only think of looking for wisdom instead of, wisdom that we can share with other people. And what I've learned from my life group is that a lot of times when we're sharing and people share things either as a prayer request or, you know, maybe in response to the study that we're doing uh, about a situation in their lives, God always, always underline it twice, um, identify somebody else in the group who's been through something similar Mm -hmm. or who has struggled with something similar and, and kind of connects those hearts. I don't even have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So In easy community. to say, too. I've been through something similar to that. If you ever yep. want to get together for coffee yep. and talk, I'd be yep. more than happy to share my experience with you. Yep. May I encourage anybody who's hearing this that has wisdom that wants to share it? I, I'm i not where y'all are. Mm. My heart actually hurts about mm. this part of this discussion. I want to cry because mm. I've lost my parents. Mm. And that's kind of where I went for a lot of wisdom. Not mm. everything, but... um. I don't have a multi-generational group that I can lean on. And I'm sure somebody is out there like me, like that. But if you have wisdom and you are uh, someone who would take someone on, uh, take someone on. Yeah. Come alongside someone. I I, I hurt a lot because I don't feel like I have that older, Mm -hmm. trusted Mm -hmm. voice that I can go to. I imagine that there are some older, trusted voices, too, that are listening right now. That are saying, I would love to because I don't have um, my children are not mm. they don't seek me for advice mm. and I desperately mm. would love to reach out to someone. Um, so, yeah, f- friends, if you are yeah, either in Trisha's your... place well, yeah, or you yeah. are in a mentor's place. Yeah. Find somebody. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. biblical. Yes, too, it is. Yeah. For us to um, and, and you don't necessarily have to be older than the other person. Right. Yeah, it's true. Age really is insignificant. But if you have wisdom to share, Mm -hmm. and all of us do, no matter our age, um, or if you have need or in need of wisdom, seek somebody out, find somebody that you feel like you can go to, or that um, maybe just presents themselves and start living life together. Start 
keeping in touch and sharing prayer requests. That's often how some of the greatest relationships are are forged is through those mm-hmm. prayer requests mm-hmm. and things that we pray for each other through. So mm-hmm. find yourself somebody. What else? Anything else you would add to the discussion today about wisdom? You know, one thing that we didn't say about wisdom is smart. This mm. is wisdom and smart are not necessarily mm. the same thing. And I just think mm-hmm. that's so cool. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to be smart yeah. to be wise. Yeah. yeah. It's not intelligence. Wisdom yeah. and intelligence is not necessarily yeah, the same thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. That's great. It might be an emotional intelligence. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Which is a totally different kind of mm-hmm. intelligence. But um, I think, it, you know, as we wrap up this discussion, um, A, pray. Pray for somebody who mm. could impart wisdom into your life or maybe pray that there is someone that God would bring along that you could help, that you could Um, be wisdom for them or give wisdom to them. Uh, Then another thing is, um, as you make yourself available, pray through that process too. Ask God, go to Proverbs, Mm -hmm. study about wisdom, seek wisdom, Mm -hmm. um, and God will give it to you. Um, He loves to give good gifts to his kids. Wisdom is a great gift. So if you'd like to talk about wisdom or have a situation you'd like to share with us, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at girltalk at thelightfm.org. Hey, one way that you can help out the Girl Talk podcast is to like and subscribe. Even leave a comment about this podcast. That helps other people get to know the Girl Talk podcast. So if you do that, we would be so appreciative. And we'll save you a seat next time we gather around these microphones for the next Girl Talk podcast. Thank you.